Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Venom Fire here, back with another video, and today I'm giving you guys a free Oakland Raiders offensive ebook. And if you guys uh, want to get better at playing Madden, want to get better at offense, need to learn tips and tricks for offense, this is the right place to be in. We have the Oakland Raiders offense, which is definitely my, the best offense in the game, in my opinion. We have so many great routes great plays out of multiple different formations we're going to be going over over a couple different formations and yeah this is obviously split into two parts this is part one um we are going to be going over more of the passing formations and part two is going to go ahead and be more of the running formations so just coming out in the gun tight doubles your audibles are going to go ahead and be zig under for x um i keep flood drive and then Z spot for RB. Uh, for flood drive, you can also replace with tight end curl, which I'm gonna go ahead and do, but um, we will be going over flood drive as well as zig under, base, and halfback angle, flood drive, a bunch of these. This, play, this formation is very good and it's highly underrated. I'm just gonna go ahead and be coming out in um, a random nickel play just for a sort of base defense so on the right hash I'm going to go ahead and flip the play um, this is pretty much for my zig under setup I'm just gonna go ahead and be putting Travis Benjamin on the out route blocking my running back and I'm gonna go ahead and put Mike Williams on a hitch uh, if you want you can put him on the in route and motion him out so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that real quick hike the ball and you're looking as you see, A gets open. Phillip Rivers sort of with an overthrow there, but we probably had X open as well. Going to go ahead and show you guys this time with the hitch. I do like the hitch a little bit better because you already know that his user is going to be moving towards the left side of the screen because we have all those concepts going over there, the corner, the out, and the post. And if he doesn't have any zone, if he's using the right of screen middle linebacker, then you will have that hitch wide open, low ball, easy seven yard gain. So I'm gonna go ahead and hike the ball again. Hit X on this little out route. And you can see just how open that got. So I'm, I just recommend always having a flat route on any play. You don't wanna just have run your setup like this or whatever. You just need to have a outside route or an out route always that's what i recommend most people will do this with their setup that works but we'll be showing you a concept like that in a minute so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys one last time our setup for zig under hike the ball looking x wide open just throw it to him obviously if it's man you're gonna have x open and you will have the post open over the top but just in case i'm gonna go ahead and take that Next up, we got the tight end curl. This is going to... Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and go over the halfback quick base. This is actually a very good run. I've had tons of success running it, and it's a very simple setup. So just go ahead and motion this right of screen receiver. Hike right here, and you're going to have space. As you see there, I had a ton of space. Just number 75 decided to run into me, but it's cool. Um... You really have a ton of space to run this. It's very successful. Hike the ball, as you guys see, easy five yards. Didn't you? I got five yards before I even made contact. Let alone if you have a good running back, you can easily do whatever you want with this. Pretty much. Oh, accidentally running the wrong play. My bad on that. Sometimes I am gonna forget to audible. I'm not gonna go ahead and go to the play screen for everyone. But you guys see, you wanna hike it right on the left tackle's hip. And we get an easy five yard gain. This is really the only run out of this formation that I personally like, and it's actually very good. I've destroyed people just running this play. As you guys see, hitting the hole, it's pretty simple. You just go through the A gap or the B gap. Not really too much to go over. Gonna go ahead and show you guys one more time before moving on to the next play. I get right there, and you see, look how big that hole is easy 10 yard gain so that is the only run play that i'm covering in it but it does a sufficient job of getting it done in the run games all right so now we have the second play in 
or the second passing play in this formation it's going to go ahead and be the tight end curl um, for this setup I like to fade Y put A on a drag and curl B you can also put keep your running back like that if he's sending heat obviously block him we're gonna be looking for the X route here if it is cover two and you have a fast guy in that slot you might be able to pass that inside and get him open and like I was saying talking about earlier you want to have that curl on the field so that he is gonna be able to not bait between that drag and whatever route you put beyond if you put him on a route like this he's gonna be able to bait between the drag and the in route you want to have routes on all sides of the field which is why I like to put this B guy on a curl or a hitch if you want and you obviously have that table route in case he's just playing over the top or if he's blitzing and doesn't man him up you can do something like this you can obviously wheel him if you want but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and hike the ball here it's nickel blitz throw your drag wide open and Hunter Henry is a little bit slow but he does a sufficient job that was obviously a soft squat um, but it still did work so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a couple more times here here's our setup one more time and hike the ball throw X on the break if it is man coverage then as you guys saw right there throwing it right on the break is the perfect time Timing for that pass, you guys could see how wide open he got on that. And it's definitely a killer. So you go ahead and run it one more time here. Looking, we have the flats wide open. Just going to dump it down to Melvin Gordon, make a move, and get on the ground. So pretty much you're just looking for that high-low read between the drag and the uh, corner route. And the curl route, obviously, is just a late sort of check down if you have nothing open i would look to the curl low ball the curl if it's open if not you know then you can just throw the ball away live to play another down um so yeah that is going to be uh, my tight end curl setup going to go ahead and be running the z spot now my z spot setup is pretty simple uh just streak x um, smart route A, so that, that corner is a deep, deeper corner route. If it's too shallow, then uh, a flat route can do a good job of baiting between the table and the corner. And I'm pretty much just going to keep the rest of the setup the same. Uh, if you want, you can obviously rotate. You can do something like this. But I like to have that deep in route. Low ball in case he's completely on the other side. So just hike the ball. First, route, first read is going to be the table route to Melvin Gordon. As you guys saw, he got completely wide open on that. Um, it was, it's you're basically doing another high load type of a read. Tons, pretty much a corner route in every single one of these plays, which is why the formation is so frustrating to go up against. But you can also have that hitch route. Um, you just have a ton of things. So again, streak X, smart out A, and hike the ball. You guys can see. Dumping it down. I would have had A as well because um, the corner would have bit down on that flat route after he stopped running. But you guys see, you can even just dump it down anyway and still get a good five yards. I'm gonna go ahead and try to hit the corner route. If it's not open, I'm gonna look to Y or B. Hike the ball. Looking. A is gonna get open. And I guess he sort of had a bad break, but. You guys pretty much get the gist. It is just another corner to flat concept. Um, hike the ball here. Looking. He's covered. Low ball Y. I could have even playmakered him to the right if I wanted. I had tons of space in the flats. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the Z spot. Not That's pretty much my only setup. If you want, you can drag that Y receiver. But I don't recommend it. I'm going to go ahead and come out in a couple of new different plays here halfback angle and flood drive as well as mesh spot so those are going to be our plays first coming out in the halfback angle i'm going to go ahead and cover, come out in a random play um for this one this is a cover a man coverage beater so i'm going to go ahead and come out in a audible here to a or over don't over strike brave whatever the frick um your opponent's probably gonna run something like this he's gonna hover um so for this setup it's pretty simple what i like to just do is block my running back and you're really looking for that y route so 
you can just have a bunch of check downs like this um, curl something like this just a couple of man beating routes slant B so this is probably gonna be my setup we're looking for Keen Allen on that wheel to beat the man coverage so gonna just motion him out hike the ball and you guys see Keen Allen's obviously a very slow receiver so he's not really good for this but if we had Travis Benjamin he would get a little bit more open um, you can, if you want extra, extra protection you can block motion Mike Williams over to block but this is pretty much just how I like to run it can even just put Benjamin on that streak hike the ball you guys see I actually didn't really have anybody open there but yeah I don't really run this play the only way that it works is if you have a heck of fast receiver in the slot and just do it or just run the play I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys flood strike though or flood drive <coughs> this play is again another type of those corner routes what I like to do is it's pretty much the same as some of the other ones pretty like a tight end curl you're just gonna be streaking X smart routing Y and pretty much just running it the same way if you want to have a receiver on the right side just hitch B I'm just gonna go ahead and drag him hike the ball and you guys will see Keen Allen gets wide open on that play so again it's just corner route these plays just have tons of corner routes very easy plays to run not too many adjustments again streak X smart route Y and hike the ball looking here gonna have the drag route wide open in the flats you can pretty much tell right away whether the cornerback's gonna follow the or follow that corner route or if he's gonna go ahead and bite down and be covering the flats but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys one more time here here's our setup hike the ball and take the drag as you see it was pretty much all over that but you still get nice seven yard gain so yeah that is gonna do it for flood drive the last play that i'm gonna show you guys is mesh spot mesh spot is just gonna be a simple setup i'm gonna go ahead and streak x and i'm just gonna be curling b and blocking my running back so here's our full setup for this play go ahead and hike the ball we're looking for y on this throw it up this as you see he still caught it but this route is really to be zone not man coverage so um, if I do come out in a cover two type of a setup this route should get wide open um, so here's our setup one more time a is we're gonna be looking for the a drag so that if that corner does follow the drag we're gonna have the corner route wide open and we obviously have the B as a check down so Y gets wide open with Keenan Allen that's a touchdown Gonna, but you can see how it killed that cover two. This plays destroys cover two. It's pretty much like a curl flat at a gun bunch. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much my only setup. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys one more time here before we switch to the next formation. So here's our setup. Hike the ball and looking, we're gonna have to drag wide open. Just throw it. We might have even had the corner out, but a lot of times if you don't have enough. Uh, time to throw that pass then you're just gonna have to dump it down So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the next formation in our setup Which is gonna be the gun trips tight end very one of the most popular formations in the game and it with reason it is Probably my favorite formation out of this playbook that I run and I did drop a Full scheme on it. I'm just gonna go ahead and come out random plays for our audibles You're gonna have double and in sail inside zone verticals the PA post shot Obviously, you can do whatever caters to you if you like X-Pot a little, little bit more. But I'm going to be going over all of these plays. going to be doing it a little bit faster this time because there's so many plays. So For Z-Spot, this is going to be my setup. You're going to go ahead and put X on a smoke screen with the RT. Put Keen Allen on a streak. And pretty much, you can just run it like this. Or what I would usually do, if he's in a set like this where there's no cornerback on this right side, I'm going to keep that table route. 
but if he's not then I like to put A on an in route I'm just gonna go ahead and hike it like this um, yeah there's man coverage this this is definitely isn't a play that beats man coverage we got some other plays out of here that do so again it looks like man coverage again we're gonna be looking for that table route we're gonna be keeping that table route hike the ball and just dump it down if it's man if you have a fast running back he should get wide open on that obviously man coverage is very frustrating but here we get a zone look so I'm gonna run our second setup here it's gonna be like this we have a on an in route X on a smoke screen Y on a streak with the running back blocking for extra protection go ahead and hike the ball real quick we're gonna be wide open throw it and get the catch as you guys see it was actually closer throw than I would have liked but we still got it done you can if you don't like that corner being so deep you can smart route it I personally do um, you can even fade this receiver this wide receiver for a little bit of a delayed play so here's our setup once again hike the ball and we're looking throw it down to X and he actually Hunter Henry would have blocked we could have a, have had a better play but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a different setup I like to run it's just pretty much stock like this we're gonna be looking for the in route as a first read obviously we're looking for the table route first but if not we want to throw this in route quickly on snap throw pretty much and it is man coverage so low ball that racket easy dot right there so those are pretty much my double and sales setups not too too much to it snap throw Philip Rivers with the overthrow but it's whatever so we're gonna be running our next play it's just regular inside zone you guys all should be familiar with this play just go ahead and motion this B receiver in hike it on his left tackle and as you guys see the blocks are amazing easy 10 yard gain just gonna show this a couple of times it's very simple here just motion him in hike the ball oh shoot I'm in the wrong play but you guys saw there that X in route is very deadly lots of people are gonna be worried about the corner the table route and it'll get wide open so here's the inside zone again we obviously have a pretty stacked box so that <coughs> excuse me there was not a lot to do with it but obviously would have ran a different play just showing you guys the inside zone setup just like to run it like that as you guys see easy yards could have been a five yard gain easily you will take that here he's in a dollar three man D line setup wide open hole and that's gonna be a crib shot for Melvin Gordon so this inside zone is definitely one of the reasons people like to run trips over a gun bunch gun cluster type because the running game it can be a lot better so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the vertical setup now vertical setup is very easy on what I like to run personally all you have to do is uh, wheel this RB route and Usually I smart out A, but you don't have to. For video's sake, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And I like to in route that X rep. So here's our full setup. We're going to be looking for that RB to A route. If not, we're looking in the seam to Keenan Allen. And then we have the X route coming over the middle late. So hike the ball. Looking. RB is going to be wide open. As you see, that A route is going to be occupying the cloud flat. Lots of people like to run this in the red zone, personally. I actually do run this a lot. The wheel route does get wide open, and it is very deadly in the right running back's hands. Hike the ball again. Man coverage. Hunter Henry wide open. And you guys can see that, again, he has that sort of fast corner route that does destroy against all defenses. Man coverage specifically. I'm going to go ahead and run it one more time here for you guys hike the ball we're looking we're gonna have RB wide open just gonna throw X late he actually did a good job of baiting me I might have had Y so here's gonna be our last time running it hike the ball and yeah you see that X route might have had that corner that crosser route but it is what it is here I am showing you guys my last play or last play in the audibles it's going to be PA post shot everybody pretty much knows how to set this up not much to it I'm just going to go ahead and streak A and hitch art B as well as smart out X so this is going to be our full setup we're looking obviously crosser 
if he's not covering crosser we look hitch or the s route hike the ball oh my that was actually a pretty bad read i would have had the crosser but you guys see that b route is a good check down just low ball it if you have no reads open i would just low ball that not much risk to reward here's our setup one more time hike the ball looking this is man coverage so i'm going to throw the crosser philip rivers with the overthrow but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys another setup this setup destroys man coverage and you can obviously run it like this um if you want some people like to do that but against man coverage it's not really going to do much so if you're playing a ton of man this is how you like to run the setup I'm gonna go ahead and put travis benjamin on a slant motion over hike the ball right about there and you guys can see he's gonna get wide open against the for whatever reason he's just man coverage is just glitchy but he should be getting wide open on that so here's just usually run it like this hike the ball looking we have hitch and we're gonna have crosser wide open so you don't even have to wait for him to go to the sideline if he's open like that just chuck it immediately and yeah so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a couple of new plays here like I said there was a ton of good passes um, we have so I'm going to go ahead and be running PA slot corner uh, PA counter go X spot and this drive post so I'm going to go ahead and be coming out in this PA slot corner and we have a very simple setup for this I only run one setup and it's just going to be streak X and drag A so we want to keep the corner post as well as the drag the drag and corner create a high low and it's very good because we have that streak clearing out that corner back a little bit hike the ball you guys can see B gets wide open and throw that dot over the top that corner actually sometimes it's very unpredictable you guys can see it's sort of a different corner route but it can either beat man coverage or just com get completely boxed hike the ball again actually freaking couldn't see because of my icon popping up on the deal and sorry about that but we did get him and end up getting him wide open on that corner over the that post over the middle so just gonna go ahead and make our reads as you see there tons of space and for whatever reason benjamin dropped that but yeah this that this is a bread and butter play if you're struggling against somebody it is godly to run and if you're running man coverage I actually have a secret tip uh, to put your tight end on a slant just go ahead and motion him out to the receiver spot motion him back in and as you guys see he is on a slant in his regular spot you guys can go ahead and see you can't put him on a slant it's a block and release cross but you motion him out in this play is gonna kill man coverage you have the slant in the corner corner wide open wasn't even covered so you guys can see that's pretty much my only setup. Not much to this play. It's a bread and butter play. I love to run it. Here we got the PA counter go. I actually don't really run this play too much. Um, also, if you wanted to put your tight end on a fade, you can motion him out there or a zig or whatever you want. Um, as you guys see, he's on a fade now, not the block and release fade. Our setup's pretty simple for this. Drag Y, put X on an in route. Smart route, that in route and put A on a streak as you guys see he's in the on the fade there but usually just put him on a streak you might not have time for that so go ahead and hike the ball Benjamin wide open on the crosser and that crosser actually seems to be a little bit faster than the one PA post shot unless well, that's just because it's Travis Benjamin but here you see we actually have a clean release for Henry so he might be open on that uh, I was in the wrong play but um, if you're playing man coverage, you can go ahead and put Keenan on a slant and motion him over like I showed you with the other play, but usually just run it like this. Hike the ball. Oh, that was a terrible read. Um, but yeah, man coverage. You just gonna go ahead and show you guys the other setup for man coverage real quick. So, here's our setup. Motion Keenan over. We're looking for the crosser, but it's man, we got Keenan and we got that in route. Keenan gets wide open, Phillip Rivers with the overthrow, but you guys saw that was a 15 yard gain with the separation. So, next play I'm covering is X spot. X spot, we're just gonna be 
streaking X, putting B on a zig route, and putting A on a curl, blocking the running back. So here's our full setup. The only other thing you have to do is motion this Y route in, hiking it about right there, right in front of that other receiver. You guys see Benjamin gets wide open on the zig. The zig's destroy man coverage. I would have had a fifth, like a 20 yard gain, but I got a terrible animation. Here we have a complete man coverage look. And if he's playing man, he can do that Hunter Henry, just motion him out and put him on a slant. So, oh, that was the wrong play. Here's our full setup for X spot. We got this and just motion and keen. Hike it right about there. As you guys see, Travis Benjamin wide open on that zig. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much my only setup. I don't really like to run this play, although I do know. Lots of trips players that do love to run it, so I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys it. Um, we have B, just wide open. That was actually a very good zone. Not e Kendall Fuller, for whatever reason, is just playing amazing coverage today. So here's our last time running the play. You can put Hunter Henry on this if you like. Personally, I like the curl. Like I was talking about, you want routes on all sides of the field. Here we have a blitz. Why? It does get open, and Keenan ends up making the catch, but that corner route's a little bit slow, and sometimes it can end up costing you. I'm going to go ahead and go over drive post one time. I don't really run this play, but I'm just going to go show you what, guys my one setup. So streak A, put Y on the slant, and just keep X the same, X and B the same. This is my man-beating play a lot. Hike the ball, um, and X is wide open. You guys saw it destroys man coverage, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and head to our next formation. All right, now we are in the last setup, and again, a deadly formation, as well as the trips. You just have a ton of godly formations in this, and yeah, so our audibles are going to be pretty much, I like to keep them stock. If you don't like the inside switch, you can put it to X spot, but I do like the inside switch. So we're just going to be going over those plays and as well as spots. So I'm just going to go ahead and come out and spot. Our setup for spot is going to be pretty simple. Streak X. Um, put Y on a smart route. Put uh, Keen out on a zig and then keep A the same. That A route is actually pretty good. Um, so here we are, Keenan's going to be open on a zig, Travis Benjamin does get wide open as well though. Um, that corner route, again like I was talking about, it's one of those corner routes that is super fast. We have a ton of those in the cluster and here we are running our same setup. Keenan and he destroys the man coverage there, even with the animation still gets the catch. So not really too much to that. You can keep Keenan on the flat if you want, and you can put Hunter Henry on a curl like this. Um, I like the zig though for to beat the man coverage. It's whatever though. Hike the ball here. Y is gonna get wide open again. We also had A open, but you guys can see it's destroying man coverage. Put your fastest guy in the slot there and do work. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just go over the inside zone real quick. Um, for me, when I run the inside zone, I like to motion this far screen receiver in to about the same spot that you motioned your receiver in on the trips inside zone that I showed you guys. But yeah, you can also, mo whenever you motion this B guy in, it seems like he sort of gets that like bubble screen, whatever the frick, blocking animation where he like runs to the right for some reason. You want the receiver to be blocking up the middle. So motion this guy in, hike it. And you guys can see I did some work with this. It's uh, all these inside zones are great to mix in, especially in pass heavy formations. You guys can see you can easily break off a good run. Look at me, I'm just destroying. And we end up getting Melvin Gordon in the zone as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, <coughs> gonna go over the inside switch here. For my the setup I like to run is just gonna be to put Keenan Allen on a slant and just motion hike him. So our setup's gonna be like this. Man coverage, dump it down to Melvin Gordon, wide open. And yeah, so if he's obvious, our first read's gonna be Melvin Gordon there. 
if he's open, hit him. We have that high-low read with Hunter Henry as well. And if it's man coverage, you have a couple of man-beating routes, the table and that post over the middle, as well as Keenan Allen motioned over on the slant. So right here, you want to hike him right on the tight end's hip, hit Melvin Gordon again there. If they're just playing over the top and not using that, I would just keep hitting that flat route. Make him have to cover it, make him worry about it, and then you can switch to a couple of different plays. So, this is pretty much my only setup. Uh, you want to have routes going to different sides, so that's why we have Keenan Allen on that. We have RB open. We also get that B open, wide open on the other side. Like, the cloud flats aren't going to be playing out there since there's no one over there. Keenan Allen can get wide open across the middle, so that's pretty much it for the inside switch. Next up, we got curl, flat corner. This is again a predicament like we were in with the mesh, <coughs> excuse me, mesh spot. Uh, just go ahead and streak X and put B on a zig. If you want, you can put him on a hitch and put, I like to put A on a uh, smart route it in. Sometimes what I even like to do is motion Keenan Allen over on a drag route. So I'm going to go ahead and run it like this. Motion him over, snap it when he's on the tight end's hip, looking. And we hit that corner out wide open for the huge gain. This play is definitely deadly like I showed you guys earlier with the mesh spot against cover two. Um, if you didn't if you did want didn't want to run like flood concept, you can put A on a curl. But for this type of setup, I do kind of want to run that. So motion him over. Y was wide open. There was nobody even guarding him. Not even sure what that defense was, but they sent like 25 at my face. <clears throat> Couldn't do much about that. So here's the setup one last time. Streak X, put B on a drag, put A on a smart routed in route, and motion B over to the tight end tip. As you see, the drag, nobody's covering him. You can just easily hit him. I probably also had Y wide open on that as well. So anyway, that's pretty much just the setup. Like I said earlier, you can just put him on a zig route if you want. Run your setup like this. Uh, motion, putting the X on a streak. You can motion X out as well, or motion B out if you want to run something a little bit like this. It's kind of a different setup. Uh, hike the ball, and as you see, Keenan Allen gets wide open. So that's going to be it for the curl flat corner. And our last play in this video I'm going to be covering is PA boot over. This play is definitely godly. It ha It's a cover four beater with that deep post, and you obviously have that crosser. I actually usually like to run it stock. If you want, put B on a hitch to get a similar setup to the PA post shot and trips. So I'm just going to go ahead and hike the ball. Look, we have the drag covered. Corner's wide open. And yeah. Uh, that safety's going to have to worry about that deep post. If he bites down too hard, then you might have the other route open. I'm actually just going to go ahead and respot the ball real quick. Because we kind of want to run this to the other side. <coughs> so... Here's our setup once again. We're looking for that drag route as a quick read. Wide open, I'm going to take that. As you guys see, if he's not covered, you just want to take the flats always. That's something I preach to take your flats always. Just You don't want to put yourself in a position where you're looking for the big play too much. And it's covered. As you guys see, looking for the big play. And I actually caught it, but... If he's running man coverage, that's not the read you want to make. If he's running ton of man coverage, you're going to want to run your setup like this. Um, <clears throat> uh, that was actually the wrong play. So run your setup like this if he's running a ton of man coverage. And you're going to go ahead and motion Mike Williams over to have a similar flood concept. We have the drag, we have the slant, we have the crosser. Here the crosser is getting wide open and hit him. As you guys see, that this play is one of my favorites. If you're struggling in a game, this is exactly the play you want to run. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys one more time. Hike the ball, looking, drag is open. We actually have this crosser across the field, and yeah. So that's going to go ahead and do it for the part one today. Uh, make sure to stay tuned for part two. It will be dropping a couple of other offensive formations as well, or a couple of other passing 
shotgun dominant formations. We have the bunch as well as Trey Y flex and this and this <coughs> bunch quads. We also have ton I form close and a weak flex close for running the ball. So if you're a runner, definitely check out tomorrow or the next day's video. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to drop a subscription to my channel. Subscribe for daily Madden tips and tricks. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. And comment down below which schemes you want me to go over next. If you want me to make a, another ebook, a different team, Saints, Cardinals, whatever. And yeah, so peace. I'm out of here.